So welcome to another edition of Starwind Aquariums. So today we're using Maritic Acid, right? So you kind of can't hear me that well because I have a face mask on. So I've been having DK8 problems, which uh, my DKH is 20. So that's just from using probably tap water or other sources of water where I thought it was purified, but the alkalinity was high, like say your local grocery store, the quarter waters or the 35 cent waters. Well, the pH and alkalinity was high. So I finally bought a reverse osmosis thing, but when I checked my tank, DKH is off the blinkers with the Hannah checker. So I heard about this acid, and so the ratio, um, I've been reading a lot of stuff. So pretty much like, what was it, one milliliter per eight, uh, eight gallons of water. So, and then you keep testing, but this stuff is dangerous, guys. Like, I got this at a orchard store, but you do not want to get this on your skin nor do you want to get it do you want to smell it so i was reading a lot so the twist cap is pretty awesome so i'm doing this by my door because i just don't want to smell this and i'm doing a lot of stuff um outside um so you don't want to get this on your skin you don't want to get this on your eyes so you're taking extra precautions with this stuff guys so it's kind of a hard cap so let me do something so guys, I dosed about like eight milliliters or nine milliliters of water. Uh, I have a little measuring cup, so I tried to hit it around the bottom. Oof, so the safe part's gone. So yet again, when I put it in the tub of water, kind of start bubbling a little bit, but this way you aerate the water and I'm not trying to smell this stuff. So hold on guys. Whew. So, I put a little fan here just to make sure I don't breathe none of this stuff in. <laughs> um, this is the first time I'm doing this, so yet again, I uh, have to aerate the water. And plus, keep checking for the pH to see uh, if it's safe. So, most people have wrote that you're supposed to leave it for 12 to 24 hours. Um, for it to properly aerate because if it's such a drop in the pH, which it will, uh, it can kill everything in your tank. So you want to make sure that the pH level is back to normal. So what I'm going to do is get an air stone and leave it in there for 12 to 24 hours or mostly until morning just to check it. So that'll be probably 18 hours from now to really see if the pH is up. So I got my tuber and I just put two in here, just an aerator that I have laying around from my freshwater days. And all I'm gonna do is just keep this aerating um, for however long it takes. But most likely you wanna do this to make sure that all your prize corals and fish just don't die. So thanks again for watching guys. This is Darwin Aquariums bringing you some craziness yet again. And think and write below what you think about this, what are your techniques of doing this, and thanks, subscribe.